Welcome back, guys. Recently, hog running back Niall Davis missed some playing time due to a hamstring injury. Dr. Eric Gordon here knows all about those. Thanks for being here, Doc. No problem. Th uh, first of all, what exactly happens in a hamstring, uh, say someone pulls their hamstring, what exactly happens? Well, when you say a hamstring pull, basically what you mean is a muscle strain. The muscle fibers stretch beyond what they're capable of uh, accommodating. And so you, if you imagine the muscle fibers are, are parallel, they overlap each other. And so instead of tearing in two, they just stretch uh, further than they're supposed to. And that creates a little injury there in the muscle. The problem is with the hamstring, it's, it's very hard for it to heal because the hamstring actually attaches or originates on the pelvis and extends down to your shin bone. So it crosses both the hip and the knee. Some people don't realize that, think the yeah. hamstring just flex your knee. But they actually their most important function is probably to extend your hip. And so when a running back or uh, someone in track or soccer is pushing off with their leg, right. their hamstrings are firing. And so it's something that is hard to immobilize. So if you want to rest it, let it heal, you just can't. It's not something you can just brace and it'll get better. You can put it on crutches, but you can only do crutches for so long. And so because of that uh, difficulty with resting it, they often will be a nagging type injury that guys will play with but it slows them down. Right. And they have pain that persists and it's just hard to get over. Now I'm assuming it's a bigger muscle that I, I, would, I would think we use on a regular basis. Exactly, yeah, exactly, that's my point. Even with regular walking, standing, I mean going to the bathroom, right. daily things, you're going to put stress on the hamstring. So it's hard to completely rest it. Now are there different levels of hamstring injuries? There are, I mean we grade them, you know, one to three. Uh, most of most hamstring strains you hear about are one or two strains, just low-grade strains. Occasionally, the muscle can completely tear, but that's pretty rare. Most are simple strains uh, that will heal on their own with rest and time. Occasionally, if it tears completely, we operate on them, but that's that's the minority of situations. Right. Now, like that video we just saw, Niall Davis, just looked like a normal run. Didn't look oh, yeah. like anything bad. It's not like just a... run along that hamstring will pull. People yeah. will normally feel it, like something right. sharp pulling pain in the back of their thigh. So for and you guys, know what yeah, what do you guys ask when he kind of hobbles over the sideline? Well, exactly, you know, what he felt, and uh, then examine him. We want to make sure it's not a complete tear and that sort of thing. They'll be sore for several days. and uh, But normally with rest and time, they will get a little bit better. The problem is during the season, it's hard to really rest them. You want to stretch them, do massage therapy and that sort of thing, try to stimulate the muscle to heal. But without a real period of rest, like after the season's over, that's what's probably really going to take them to completely get over it. Is there actually nothing you can do besides stretching to actually, you know, prevent an injury like that from happening? Well, it's hard. The, the biggest thing you do, number one, stay in shape. Yeah. So keep your muscles balanced. If your quads... Don't skip quadriceps. leg day. That's right, right. During the workout. And you don't want to do isolation exercise either to just okay. focus on just your quadriceps. Oh, your quads, interesting. So quadriceps not those weak hamstring and... exercises wouldn't really help it? Well, they can, but you... Most people focus on the front of their legs. Right. That's what they see when they look in the mirror. And so they'll focus on the quadriceps. If you have muscle imbalance, that can predispose you to this. Adolescents, you know, high schoolers, especially junior high kids who are still growing rapidly or more prone to this because your bones actually go quicker, grow quicker than your muscles do. So your bones grow, it puts the muscles on more right. of a stretch and increases the likelihood of a hamstring strain. All right, doctor, very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, we'll see you next week.